what I first want to start out is kind of the idea of overthinking. You know, why, why is it so easy to overthink these days and overthinking along with how it impacts the creativity process? And if you're like me, I kind of admire creativity. Sometimes I kind of idolize creativity. You know, I, I think the world, especially in the individual, individualistic world that we live in, it's kind of, um, it's like, if you're not creative, you're kind of dumb, right? Like, or, or if you're not making some kind of content, <clears throat> then uh, like, what are you doing? You know, and, and that is often seen by a lot of us that watch YouTube where we watch Twitch or, or we're on the internet. We see a lot of these different creators. We think that we need to, we need to, I need to do something special. I need to create something awesome. And in reality, it's like, no, no, you don't. And a lot of times that can hold you back from trying to create anything at all and to actually enjoying um, the, the act of creation, you know, because it is actually very fun to be able to have this human body, this human experience and be able to poke the box of life and see what happens. I mean, that's a, an amazing thing. But if you're going over in your mind how like it has to be perfect, it's probably going to keep you from creating and taking that initial step into creation. So look, I've been thinking about overthinking. Isn't that kind of funny? Thinking about overthinking. But I believe that it's almost like you're too grounded in reality. Overthinking is the inability to sort of detach yourself from trying to control reality. And you can see this as an example when you look at a dream. In a dream, your mind has free reign. It has complete lack of consciousness. So there's no mental models going on. There's no trying to decipher the immediate world around you. You kind of have access to unlimited possibilities, right? So in a dream, you can think of some pretty insane stuff. I mean, I've had crazy dreams, man. I, I've had a, a reoccurring dream that I look forward to where I'm bouncing on this giant ball, like those, those, like those round bow shoe balls with a handle. When you're a kid, and you bounce on it a few times and boom, you know, I'm, I'm blasting off into the stratosphere and it's like, I'm full, I'm like almost flying. And then I come down, it's like the Hulk when he runs, he runs like this and then he, and then he's like jumping, I have that dream. I love it. And, um, you know, it just, it's so out of the ordinary, but that happens when we're dreaming. It happens when we're departed from conscious thought, trying to manipulate the world, trying to understand the world, trying to use these mental models that we have on how to navigate this world that we're in. So overthinking seems to be the inability to let that go and to just to engage with, with the unknown, to be engaged, to be able to engage with the moment, I would say, really to because if you're always trying to micromanage the second, if you're micromanaging the moment, it never allows you to engage with the unconscious, with, with, the, with the, the thoughts that will just pour out of you. And so almost like I started this video, I think this is a tip for any creati creativity process. When you want to create, the hardest part is you just need to sit down. If you're trying to write, like Stephen Pressfield said in the the War of Art, not the Art of War by Sun Tzu, but the War of Art, is that the hardest part is just sitting down. You need to sit down. That's all you got to do. The hardest part for a writer is just sitting down in the seat and beginning, putting the pen to paper, beginning to type it. After that, what happens, and a lot of writers will, will profess this, is that it just starts to come together. It just starts to click. Same thing with artists. Same thing if you're going to paint a picture or you're going to draw. It, you will see that a lot of times it just comes to you out of thin air. It's Maybe it's it's back in the subconscious, but your conscious mind was trying to or is trying to stay grounded in reality. It's trying to think of things that are you know normal. Oh, what would people like? How is this going to be perceived by my audience? Am I going to say the right thing? Is it going to come out perfect? 
once you kind of just dive into the thing, then you can start swimming and you can start being creative. You can start dancing in a sense. Um, so you sort of connect the conscious with the unconscious. So you're taking a part of that dream world and you're also taking a part of this conscious world and you're meshing the two together. You sometimes get some brilliant creative creative things out of that. Sometimes you just get, um, you know, bore fest. Sometimes you just get, you know, some randomness and that's okay, but at least you're trying. And I think a lot of us should get in the habit of at least trying. And the hardest part is that initial effort, the initial effort to try. And I'll tell you another thing going back a step, effort, uh, to, in order to, to take effort into trying, into trying to create something, writing, content, um, speaking, whatever, arts, whatever you want to create. I mean, you just, you know, whatever it is in your life that you want to do, create something or put effort into, it always helps to have a stable, you know, day-to-day -day life with good habits, good routines. Something we talk about all the time in the Discord is, you know, how do we make ourselves powerful men? How do we create this culture of strength in our group where we're strong men, where we're smart, the books are reading, we hold each other accountable. And so, you know, please have stability in your life, have some sort of routine that you're attached to that is lifting up your energy levels, that is giving you health, that is giving you wellness, a sense of calm and peace. You need that in your life. And then you can have that, that, oomph, you know, that high thumos. That's what high thumos is about. It's a lifestyle effort feels amazing. It, it's a, you can take effort. Effort isn't this thing you just sit around thinking about all day. The tipping, the first step, you know, striking the match, that's high thumos, that, that initial oomph, that initial push. And so you got to live the high thumos lifestyle. All right. So with that being said, all you creatives, man, all you guys trying to make something to, to make a sort of art, sit down, get started, work out the initial awkwardness, give yourself up. The muse will show up as long as you decide to show up too. And then the subconscious will kick in. You'll see some creativity come out of that. Okay. 